Amen. Thank you so much, Aunt Faith, for taking us through worship. We will bless the name of the Lord for that. Now, children, today marks the beginning of uh, our national census in Uganda, the nationwide counting of people. This is normally done to, first of all, know the number of people living in a country like for us as Uganda and also to improve service delivery to know where to build another hospital to know where to build another school to know how communities can help grow so we are going to pray and that the Lord will uh, help the people who are doing this strengthen them and that they will bring out the right numbers and not uh, wrong numbers, that the Lord will strengthen them, that the Lord will help them, because this stretches up to the 20th. So I would like to ask all of us to unmute and pray. Then Cedric will conclude that prayer. And after that, we shall invite our speaker for this morning. Please unmute and let us pray. God, we thank you for today. Children, unmute and we pray. You will help them. Make to count the right numbers. Not get accounted 
that everyone who is counting help them to them. Maybe this will keep them to count the people who will find them. May they get the right information that is their country or not. And May the people also be around to be counted at the at the at the census. Amen. 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 Cedric, we're waiting. How much for so for our prayer? Oh God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the gift of everything, for everything you have done for us. Oh God, for the prayer that you, we have good people to count us. We pray that those people who count us, we pray that they allow other people to count them, oh God, Father. We pray that, that you protect all of us. We pray for good people to come and count us in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Dear children, put your favorite emojis together as we welcome our speaker this morning, Mr. Mugerwa Moses. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Job. I hope I hope everybody can hear me. Good morning, everyone. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice, nice. Uh, my name is Uncle Morris. Like Uncle Job has introduced me. Um, I am a dad to Kyle and Kylan. So you can call me Daddy K. I'm really excited to join you this morning. I think like Auntie Florence mentioned and Uncle Job, it's very, very important, excuse me, for us to set up time to pray, for us to set up time and just join one another in prayer. There's nothing that beats that, you know, when everybody else is still sleeping, you just give time and, and say, I am going to talk to my God. That is a sign that we love him. It's a sign that we honor him. It's a sign that he's special in our hearts. And just like how we love everybody to know that we are special to them, even God is continuously yearning to see who am I special for? Who holds me dear to their heart? So I commend you that you have done this for a long while. Uh, and God bless you for that. This morning, um, I thought I would spend a few minutes for us to to pick a few things from the Lord's Prayer. Mm -hmm. I know we always say the Lord's Prayer literally every day. Many of us say it every day at home, at school. But the question is, what do we learn from the Lord's Prayer? Mm -hmm. I, I think it's very important even as we 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 go through the season of prayer to understand what key lessons we learn from the lord's prayer because when god was teaching his disciples to pray he used the lord's prayer to teach them how to pray so we are going to unmute together and say the lord's prayer together and then after we will i will share with you some of the lessons that i think personally we can learn from the lord's prayer so let's unmute and say our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth 
Lead us not to deliver us from evil, fill the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, children. I know we've. <clears throat> We all have different versions of the Lord's Prayer based on the version of the Bible you pick it from. But it's all okay. It all remains the Lord's Prayer. Meanwhile, who knows where in the Bible the Lord's Prayer comes from? Oh, somebody has beat me to it. Uh, I see Lynette has already put in the chat. It comes from Matthew chapter 6, verse verse 9 to 13. We can also find the Lord's Prayer in Luke chapter 11, around verse 1 to 4, the shortened version. So for our particular conversation this morning, we will be focusing on Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 to 13. That is the prayer we all just said together. That is the prayer we say together every day. That's the prayer we say with our parents every day. That's what we call the Lord's Prayer. And to get context for this, we need to understand that prayer is conversation with God. Just like how you sit with mommy, daddy, or how you sit with your sister or your friend and have conversation with them. The same with prayer. It's not to be complicated. It's, it's, it's not when you're shouting a lot or when you're talking slowly, whispering, that, that makes it prayer. It is no more conversation. So when we are coming to God, we approach him as both father, like we will see in the Lord's Prayer, but also as friend. So in this portion of scripture, the disciples had seen Jesus pray very well. Like you mentioned, every single now and then the Bible says, God would set up time to pray. So the disciples kept wondering, how is it that God, Jesus, our master, our teacher, prays very well, and for us, we cannot pray? In fact, at one point, there's a scenario where, you know, they brought to the the disciples a sick person, a possessed person, but then the disciples could not pray for that person to be well. And the disciples were very bitter uh, because for Jesus, he was able to pray for the person and they got well. So the disciples asked Jesus, how come for us we fail to pray for this person to get better? And Jesus told them that some of these can only go with prayer and fasting. So they kept wondering, but even as we pray, but how come our prayers have not yielded as much as Jesus' prayers. So at this instance, they come to Jesus and they say, Master, teacher, teach us how to pray. And I think that what they did is very noble. And as children, we need to learn to always come to Jesus and say, teacher, teach us how to pray. Teach us how to pray, Jesus. So they came to him and they asked him, Jesus, teacher, teach us how to pray. And guess what? So in Matthew 6, 9 to 13, he teaches them to pray. He says, in this manner, therefore, pray. In the NIV, it says, when you pray, say. And what I learned from this personally is prayer should be different from meditation. It should be different from thoughts. Many times, (laughs) mommy or daddy tells us to pray. We close our mouth and we think in our head, And we say we are praying. While it's very possible for us to pray in our thoughts and without opening our mouth, the NIV version of this portion in Matthew Matthew chapter 6, verses 9, it says, when you pray, say. And the emphasis there, it's very important as you come to God, to talk to God, that you open your mouth and you talk to him. Not talk to God, not talk to God with your thoughts. 
not talk to God with what you think, but that you will open your mouth and talk to God. Because what happens is sometimes when we pray with our thoughts, then we will think about sweets. We will think about lollipops. We will be praying. And then we think about the water park. Yeah. But every time we pray and we say out our prayer, we are able to overcome our thoughts and be able to talk to God. But in any case, you cannot talk to your friends when you're silent. Yeah. You cannot say, I'm going to talk to Emmanuel or Lynette. And then you just keep quiet. And you're like, okay, now think about what I'm thinking. Mm, and then you start having conversations. So best prayers, I said prayers. So in this in this scripture, Jesus tells the disciples, when you pray, say, our Father in heaven. And what this teaches us is God is our Father. So even as we pray, we approach God as our daddy, our daddy, dad. You know, we all love our daddies. We or we love our parent figures. And because they love us also, we remember that they care for us. They both love us and they care for us. So even as we pray, we always need to remember that, you know, we don't pray because we have to, because mommy has said we have to pray or daddy. We pray because we are talking to our daddy, God in heaven. Many of us do love to talk to our daddies. We even tell our daddies to read their stories and we ask them so many questions. Now, the same thing, because Jesus, God, is our daddy, we should always have that desire to talk to him. He is our father. No wonder in the Lord's Prayer, the first part, how we begin, we say, our father, our father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name. We need to remember the second thing that we learn is worship is a big part of prayer. Many of us, when we think about prayer, it's all about God give me shoes, God give me school fees, God give my daddy money to buy me a uniform, God give my mommy money to buy me a dress. It is all about asking. But the biggest part of prayer is about worship as well. That's why we say hallowed. Hallowed means great be your name. Praised be your name. So even as we pray, we need to remember that prayer is not all about to give, give, give me, give me this, give me that. Prayer is about, God, I give myself to you. How you give yourself to, to God is by worship. God, I worship you. God, you are holy. God, you are worthy. God, you are wonderful. God, you have given me life. God, I have two eyes. God, I have a nose, meaning I can breathe. God, even when I sleep, the insects don't enter my mouth. Even the right doesn't enter my bed. God, I worship you because you love me. So the biggest part of prayer is worshiping God. Remember when we said, one thing we learned from the Lord's Prayer is God is our Father. The second thing we learned from the Lord's Prayer is worship is a big part of prayer and we see that at that portion where we say our father who art in heaven allow it be your name and then the third thing we learn from the lord's prayer is prayer helps us to present our needs to god many of us have had those needs when you think and you're like god i really really need a nintendo i really really need a video game and you can't even tell your daddy. You can't even tell your mommy. Or your daddy has told you, I can't buy it. I don't have money. I can't buy you that video game. I don't have money. So prayer basically allows us to present our needs before God and say, God, I need a new shoe. I need a new shirt. I need, I need this and that. You know where I get that from? In, in one of the verses in, in, our, in the Lord's Prayer, we say, and forgive us our debts. And no, no, the first part is, um, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts. So it's very important to remember that, you know, prayer, prayer allows us to give our debts to God. Prayer allows us to give our needs to God. 
through prayer, we are able to surrender and say, God, this is what I need. I need I need to get school fees. I can't even go to school. So my question to you, my friends, what is that need that you have? And you could even think right now, maybe it's a need that you have as a family. You've had a sick person in your family and you're sad. You're thinking to yourself, oh God, why is this person being sick? Stop worrying about it. Take it before God. Because what we see in prayer is that in prayer, we are able to present our needs to our dad and say, dad, I need this. Dad, I need you to work on this. Maybe it is something else. When daddy has told you, you may not be able to start school early because we don't have enough money. Stop complaining. It's not good to complain. Just take it before God. Present your need to God. The Bible says, do not worry about anything, but in prayer and supplication, let your needs be known to God. We make our needs known to God, our daddy dad, through prayer. So again, I want to remind you the three things that we've learned this morning as I conclude. We say it, it is very important for us to pray because prayer is conversation with God. It is very, very important and key for us to pray. And the Lord's Prayer is one of the benchmarks of how we can pray. So three things we said we learned from the Lord's Prayer. We said, one, God is our Father. Because he's our Father, he loves us and he cares for us, his children. The second thing we said, that worship is a big part of prayer. Prayer is not about give me, give me, give me. Prayer is about giving to God, giving to God, lifting your hands in worship. And the third thing we said, that prayer helps us to present our needs before God. Every need, whatever you want, even what you can tell mommy and daddy, you take it to God in prayer. So children, even after today or tomorrow, I encourage you to love prayer, to fall in love with prayer, to continue praying, to encourage your friends to pray, to encourage your families to pray, because prayer is a very good thing. God bless you. Let me invite Auntie Florence. Amen. Over to you, Uncle Job. Thank you very much. Uh, children, please say thank you for such a beautiful day. Thank, 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 thank you. 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 All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for sharing on prayer. Indeed, men ought to pray and not give up. We need to personalize that and say, I ought to pray as we do just, I ought to pray and not give up. Yes. Could I have the... Nathaniel, are you there? Hello, Nathaniel. Yes, he's there. He's just Hello. organizing himself a bit. There he is. All right. Thank you. I hope everyone is seeing the screen. We're going to pray for our city where we live. If you live in Kampala, pray for Kampala. If you live in Wakiso, you pray for Wakiso. Me, I live in Arua, so I'll pray for Arua this morning. So, let me invite Nathaniel to read for us the first scripture in I Psalm 1. I can't see the screen. You can't see the screen? Yes. yes. Can you but, see it now? No. It happens so much, even with me. All right. You can, 
you can open to Psalm 127, verse 1. Psalm number 127. Unless, unless the Lord built the house. Yes, you're doing well. Unless the Lord builds a house. Uh, I rejoice with, the, with those who say to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. It is the one that says, unless the Lord builds a house. You were right before. Psalm chapter 1, 27, verse 1. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. Thank you. Can you see the prayer response? No. Okay, I'll be reading the prayer response this morning. Our prayer response says, Thank God for the place where you live. Thank Him for the daily protection for you and your family. It's only the Lord who protects a city, and our duty is to pray. Can we unmute and pray for a place where we live? Is it Kampala? Is it Wakiso? Is it Entebbe? All right, children. Yes, and we can where we live. Father, we thank you for this where we live. We thank you for thank you for thank you for thank you for my city. Thank you for the city where I live. Thank you for the city. Thank you for the city. Thank you for the daily protection. Thank you for the protection. Your word says, Unless you watch over me, watch, watch in vain. But Lord, I thank you that you alone have the focus of This is where I will give you a Thank you. Please, can you know about the knowledge and understanding? And may we not fail our exams. Thank you for the light. Thank you. Thank you for praying. Nathaniel, our next scripture. I can see that screen now. All right. Can you do Psalm 102, verse, verse 15? The nations will fear the name of the Lord. All the kings of the earth will revere our glory. The prayer response is pray that the people who live in our neighborhood will fear the name of the Lord and worship him. Yes. 
Thank you for reading that, Nathaniel. A children, think about your neighborhood. Think about your community. Pray that the people there will fear the name of the Lord because it's only the Lord who can exalt a nation. Can we unmute together and pray? children i have muted you because i've realized some of us are not praying yes some of us are not praying, and yet we are here to pray. So please unmute and pray, okay? Pray for that people in the area. Oh, Lord, I pray that everyone in my neighborhood will share. Oh, children can pray. All the people in my neighborhood. Everyone, my neighbors. So the West Coast. All the fear your name. Amen. 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 Next is First Timothy chapter two, one verse one to. I add then first that petitions, prayers, petitions, petitions prayers, intercessions, and thanks be made all people of kings and all those in authority that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all goodness and holiness. The prayer response is pray for the leaders in the place where you live that they will live godly lives and in turn make godly can make godly decisions for your city, e.g. LC1, Chairman, Security, Guards, ETC. All right. Thank you, Nathaniel, for reading for us the prayer response. Let us unmute their children and pray for the leaders in our area, the immediate leaders. And then you can pray for them. That God is God, so take decisions. 
Lord is good. Thank you. Your word this morning. Thank you for the leaders who are in. That's where I live, oh Lord. Let me they fear you. Lord, may, may they be, may they be good leaders, oh Lord. May they also make uh, godly decisions for my Amen. 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 Our last scripture is Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Nathaniel. Also seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Fed the Lord for it, because if it prospers, you too will prosper. Prayer response. Pray that the area where you live will prosper and everyone will have what they need to live. Amen. Thank you. Let's pray for the prosperity of our area. <laughs> Lord, we thank you for the places where we come from. I thank you for Thank you for the city where I live, oh Lord. Lord, Lord, the area where I live is it is May it have good good May it Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord.
Father. We shall see the Continue to go on, go to a higher level, Lord Father. Let me invite you kind of thank God for all that we prayed for. Shekina, are you there? Yes. Thank you. Pray and we thank God for everything this morning. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for protection. Thank you for all the things that you've given us. Father, we thank you for our teachers. Thank you for our parents. Thank you that you have loved us. Father, we pray for today. Hope it be well. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. Our prayer oath is on the screen and all of us to read it together. I have, uh, do you see it? Yes. Can we read one, two, three, go? I and not give up. Text two of two. Therefore, I ought to pray to press and touch and not give up. And not to give up. Therefore, I ought to pray. I ought to give up. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. So this becomes life. For us, Lord, and not faint. Our life it should become our lifestyle that every day we shall take time to pray to the Lord as we seek His face, because He is our God, He is our Father, and we can't stay without talking to Him. Otherwise, we will miss a lot from him. Thank you all for joining this morning. I want to ask Uncle Moses to pray for us for the city and then I will hand over to teacher Florence. Thank you, Uncle Moses. All right. Thank you, Uncle uh, uh, before you pray, uh, you close for us. I would love to make some announcements to the children. Children, once again, thank you very much. Some of you don't like putting on your videos, so we don't know whether it's your pillow that is talking to us, but we believe that we are talking to the children that are behind the gadgets here. So thank you, children, for attending um, the prayer week. It's been amazing. We've had a good time. I'm sure you have had a good time. Who can type for me? The, quickly, who can raise your hand and tell me five things that we have that we ought to pray for. Let me just choose randomly. Everyone will give me. If I choose you, you tell me one thing that we ought to pray for. Yes, let me have Alicia. Alicia, what one thing must we pray for? Unmute quickly and tell me. 
And then I'll have Zoe Bernice. Yes, Alicia, what's that one thing you should pray for daily? I pray that God heals us. Okay, that is health. Good. Yes, we should daily pray for our health. Every day you should pray for your health. Yes, Zoe, what's another thing that we ought to pray for daily as children? We need to pray for where we live and our city. Yes, you need to pray for where you live <clears throat> and for your city. Children, I don't know if you heard of news last week when a man who, who has not yet learned the right thing to do entered the house and then went and and cut some children somewhere in near Entebbe. So that's why we need to pray for the places where we live. Yes, Joel and Jotham, your hand is up. You may unmute and tell us what else we need to pray for daily. We need to pray for our parents. We need to pray for our parents. Yes, every day. Pray for your parents. Don't, don't. Pray for them that the Lord will provide for them, that the Lord will keep them in perfect peace. Pray for your parents. They are the ones who go to work to come and take care of you. Uh -huh. Ella, Ella, you should also unmute and tell us what we want to pray for. I want to pray for my family. Yes, yes, your parents, your family, always pray for them. Thank you, Ella. Let me have Jeremiah, then I'll have Noah and Bithia. Yes, Jeremiah. Oh, we pray for our education. Our education. Every day you must pray for your education. The Bible says the Lord gives wisdom and from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. So you cannot go to school and then you have not asked the one who gives knowledge and understanding. Um, you've not asked him to give you knowledge and understanding. Uh -huh, yes, Noah, what else should we pray for daily? We should pray for our papas. Yes, you should pray for your papa's children. Thank you, Noah. Remember, we said that you're not here just to pass time. Hmm? You're not wind, that you just come and you go. Actually, even wind has purpose. Because sometimes the Bible tells us in the book of, um, of Exodus that there is an east wind that the Lord sent and it divided the Red Sea. So even wind has a purpose. Hmm? The Lord created everything for a purpose. So you are here for a purpose. You're not here just for life, but you're here for a purpose. So we ought to pray one for our purpose. Everyone was created for a purpose. Everyone, everyone, even those people who do wrong things were created for a purpose. Unfortunately, maybe they never got to pray. And God never got to tell them what their purpose is. That's why they move around doing wrong things. That is not going to be your children because for us, we are going to pray for our purpose. Number two, we ought to pray for our education so that God gives us wisdom, God gives us understanding, knowledge, and we are able to understand what our teachers are teaching us and we are able to apply it. Three, we need to pray for our health. In First John, we read that God wants us to prosper even in health. Because when you're sick, you cannot do anything. So we need to pray that we shall be in perfect peace. And then for we also need to pray for our parents, children, every day. Pray for your parents. Hmm? Because they are watching all those people taking care of you. They are taking care of you, preparing your school fees. Pray that God will give them long life. Pray that the Lord will... Teach them how to train and raise you in his ways. And also for your city, you know, pray, talk to God. Those are the requests you can lay before the Lord. The Bible tells us in Philippians that don't be anxious about anything. Don't worry and say, oh my God, what am I going to do? But the Bible says in everything with prayer, petition, thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Yes, so I'm going to give Uncle Charles just one second to uh, 
pray for us. There's something he has mentioned in the chat. Uncle Charles, please unmute quickly so that the children will pray. Children, if you hear anything that is happening in your area, that is a request you need to take to God. This week we've been praying for Kenya. We said in Kenya there were... There was a lot of rain. We prayed for the children to the rain to stop. They go back to school. Those who have been attending our monthly prayer altar, you know, we have been praying for our elections in 2026. For us, we can't vote. We don't even know who to vote. But God has given us our mouth. We can vote when we pray. So we pray for good leaders. So every time you hear something today, we pray for the census. Now, Uncle Charles is going to tell us what we are going to pray for briefly. Then after. Um, Mr. Mugera Moses will give us a blessing, then we shall get ready for tomorrow. Yes, Uncle Charles. Yeah, here where we are, we are in a training in Kasefi in the Prescott of Chinyamaseke, Mas the, the other side of the mountain, Mountain Wenzori, the highest mountain in Uganda. Stand ladies have claimed so far, I think, 10 people, and the rivers are flooding and almost breaking their banks. Pray for the people uh, that they will not be killed, more people will not be killed, and that the rivers will be controlled within their banks and they don't break so that people will die also. So it's my prayer request this morning. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Let me ask Auntie Doris. Auntie Doris has joined us this morning. Auntie Doris, if you're able to, please uh, pray as we agree with you for the people in Kasese. Amen. Thank you. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for you, the creator of the universe. And everything you created, you said it was good. We want to come before you and bring the people of Kasese into your hands, Lord. We pray that you will preserve and protect them, that the rain shall not be so heavy to destroy them, the rivers will not break their banks to run into people's homes and destroy them with those big stones that keep rolling down. We pray for your hand of protection. You promise that, Lord, you will not destroy the earth again with the rains and water. So we are asking and petitioning you, Lord, that you will see your hand will be upon the people of Katsese. You will protect them, protect their homes, protect their farms, their crops, oh God, everything that they have built and developed, that Lord, you will preserve. We pray that you will hold the rains, that they will come sufficiently and not to destroy. And Lord, we pray that your hand will be mighty upon the people of Kasese and any other place, oh God, that has been experiencing flooding and heavy rains that have destroyed homes, that have destroyed families, that has killed people. We ask that, Lord, you will intervene. We know that there is nothing that is impossible with you. And when we ask you, oh God, for protection, you protect us. So we are praying that you protect the people in these areas where there have been a lot of floods, that your hand shall be mighty to stop the floods from destruction. We trust you and we know that you have answered us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Yes, children, please remember. Amen. All right, children. Um, Amen. As we close, as Uncle Moses gives us the final blessing, please remember tomorrow we are meeting at Intercessors for Uganda offices in Kulambido. Uh, your parents will know exactly where to bring you. We'll have some snacks so you don't have to carry. But if you'd love to carry, you can go ahead and carry. Uh, remember to politely ask your parents to give you a small contribution of 10,000 shillings. Um, that will help us to cover some of our small costs and then come and we pray together. Yes, so over to you, uh, Mr. Mugera, as you close and bless the children. Thank you so much, Auntie Florence. Let's pray together. God, we thank you for this morning. We have had as children to talk to you. Thank you for allowing us to wake up, to come and fellowship together. 
Lord, we pray that you bless every child under my voice. May you cause them to be wise. May you watch over them. May you protect them. I speak a blessing unto them and to their parents. May you bless them as they go out and as they come in, O Lord. Father, we pray that this will be a generation that will have reverence for you, a generation that will know you. I pray for all the facilitators of these. Lord, may you bless them, intercessors for Uganda, even as they teach our children how to pray and intercede. May you may you reveal them, oh God. God, I ask that even as you go through today, your blessing will be upon us. We thank you, our God, and we love you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Thank you, Uncle Joe. I think I'm all there. Thank you, Emma. Bye. 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 Bye, people. All right, children, I'm going to stop the call and you take the phone to your Florence. Bye. Bye, 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 everyone. Bye. 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 God bless you, Bye. everyone. Bye, Tita Bye. Bye. Okay, I'm Bye, stopping the call. Bye, Tita Bye. 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 All right, thank you. Okay. Bye, teacher. Bye.